Hey Internet, um, my name is Molly Rosada and I'm going to tell you how one thing saved my life. Bullying started in second grade. Verbally abusive, called me fat, ugly, and I was just an attention freak that I loved the attention. I didn't let it get to me, so, like, so, like, I used to let it slide off of me, like, bye, I don't care. I, I thought that I could hold it in for that long, for a pretty long time, but then when fourth when first grade came, um, my he started getting worse. He used to say I was a you know slight the fact that I did my hair like this, I um is was a tension horn and I used to cut for no reason. Um, little did he know I cut because he's the one who made me cut. He used to bully me a lot. Then when sixth grade came, he used to physically abuse me. He used to um kick me, punch me pull me by the hair, steal my money and stuff, and trip me, anything, you could say it, push me into puddles, anything that you can name, he did it. Then it got to the point where he just started to like, act like I was a whore and he used to try and touch me. And that made me mad, so I used to cut really, really deep. And, um, my friend, he used to see the fact that I was so upset, so he used to try and calm me down, but it would never work. So I, I tried popping pills, about 20 of them at once. I um, started having bad cramps and I started vomiting everywhere. Then when I went to the hospital, after they were done fixing me up and I was like, had to lay on the bed for after, um, my friend Cade, he came. He was kneeling on the ground next to my bed, crying for me never to do that again. He then told me, he told me, where there's rain, there's always sunshine, and then he kissed me on my cheek, not like that, um, I really want just to say, just to want to say that all these bullies, they just want you to commit suicide, so don't give them the satisfaction of committing suicide, it's not the answer, I've tried it, and no, I realized how many, how, like, one friend can save a life, I, and honestly, it sometimes brings tears to my eyes to remember how much he cared about me. And, like, I'm trying not to cry right now. And he's, like, always, he was always, he's still always there for me. And now I'm in the ninth grade, and he's there for me. He's been there for me since fifth grade. Like, I'm so happy now, the fact that I know that somebody cares about me. And now, I'm pretty sure if you're suicidal, and like, if you have suicidal thoughts, please, just don't, don't go there. Because if you do, you're giving the bully the satisfaction of you being gone. Then, then like, they're going to act like they didn't do it. And it's just going to hurt you more. Even though you're probably like in a coma, it's still going to hurt you. Because when you wake up, you're going to realize how many people care and how much you hurt them. Don't do it. Just suicide is not the answer. You know. You know what you should do. If you are really upset, you kn you need to write down your feelings, rip it up, and throw it away. Makes you feel better. Or you can talk to your best friend. The person who cares about you the most will talk to you about this. He will notice. He or she will notice the fact that you're feeling down, and she'll and he or she will ask you what's wrong. Even if it's your parents, I don't care who it is. Talk to somebody. Don't keep it in because I know you might commit suicide and I don't want that to happen because I'm tired of hearing all these su suicides over these bullies. You need to stop this bully. You need to stop this bullying because really it's not worth it. Just putting somebody down to make yourself, yourself look better is not making you look better. It's making you look worse. It's making you look like a murderer. I just don't know how you could do, how you could just say things like that. I don't even understand. Bye.